Hey, how's it hanging? Cheers. Hey, how's it hanging, I say? So I opened this beer earlier to demonstrate the bottle opener functionality of the bracelet slash watch that I'm going to be talking about in this video. So I figured don't don't want it to go to waste. So I'll probably be drinking it as we go. So you've seen it before in my other videos. This is the Leatherman Tread, though you haven't seen it with the watch on it. So I kind of talked about it in another video. I've had this Seiko watch, pretty minimal. I just like it because it's OD. Uh, and it's an automatic, which means there's no battery and you have to kind of wear it every day or get an automatic charger to keep it charged. So if I don't wear it for a few days, it just stops and I got to reset the time and recharge it uh, with movement. So for the tread, I didn't want to get an automatic because I didn't know how often I would be wearing this. I may be wearing it all the time, so maybe an automatic would have been a good choice. But I got this watch, which is the Solar which when charged lasts for like six months. And if you just leave it, you know, in a room, it'll, it'll naturally get charged. So yeah, the tread, is it a cool tool? Is it a gimmick? Is it just man jewelry? We're going to kind of talk about it. It's usefulness, it's functionality in today's video. So you can decide if it's worth it for you. So here it is. It's a Leatherman tread bracelet. This is the black version because I just really love uh, black more than stainless. Though if you have a stainless watch or if you're into that, then obviously the stainless will be a better fit for you. The stainless model is a little cheaper. The black is a little more expensive. So what we have here is a Leatherman tread bracelet converted to a watch band. In order to do that, there's this little linkage. Let's see if we can get some focus on here. It's called chrono links and I don't know if you'll be able to see that kind of engraved onto this little piece here but you order one of these I'll link to it below I'll link to everything the watch the bracelet everything all that stuff so you order a little thing and it comes with a set of two which will allow you to interface your watch with the Leatherman tread band so you could hook up your Apple watch or any kind of watch uh, I believe this is the 22 millimeter kit that will allow me to get this Seiko onto the band. So this isn't really a watch review, but I'll mention real quick the watch I'm using. It's a Seiko, I don't even remember the model. I have, you've seen this in my other videos. I've had this for like over a year, but never really wore it. I bought it when I was reading this book about EMPs and was like, oh, it'd be really cool to have a watch that has no batteries or electronics or anything. This is an automatic watch. What that means is you can either wind charge it or it's just charged by wearing it on your wrist. So this is another watch that I've kind of been wearing for a while to see if I would like wearing a watch because I hadn't for years and years and years worn a watch. I've been liking it, so I decided to go ahead and convert my Leatherman tread that I had that didn't really see much use except for when I was traveling convert this puppy into the most awesome watch band imaginable. So I shopped for watches a little bit. This is a Seiko, this is a solar powered watch. I didn't want an automatic because I didn't know if I'd be wearing this every day. So an automatic you either need to wear every day so it kind of continuously charges this thing or get an automatic charger. This guy gets charged by the sun or just ambient light. On a full charge it'll last for six months. So if I wasn't going to wear this every day, then the watch, I wouldn't have to reset every time I wore it. So that was kind of a benefit for me. Also, other than all the tactical colors, you know, FDE, OD, different shades of gray, 50 shades of gray and black. Orange is kind of my favorite color. So I like the look of this watch and also it was black, brushed black. So it kind of matched the band. I'm not sure if you can tell in the video or not. It's not a perfect match for the band, but it's pretty close. So a thing to note that should be obvious is when converting your Leatherman tread bracelet into a watch, you do lose out on links. You, I lost out on approximately three links when I converted this bracelet into a watch. So that's just something to note. The links, let's get into the links and the actual functionality of the tool. So each of these links is a tool. Some of them have actually three tools per link. So you'll have Allen wrenches on here. You'll have these kind of uh, wrenches, you know, normal wrenches. You have an oxygen wrench here. So on the bigger ones, you'll have three tools for the most part. And then on the smaller ones, let me find one like here, you'll have only two tools. So the smaller links are used to kind of fine tune the size because they are smaller, obviously, as you can see, smaller than the big links. 
So these links, you can pick and choose which ones you want on your wrist based on what you might use the most often or what you might want kind of an emergency scenario. So I EDC 11 and Skeletool every day. So this is gonna be my primary tool. I mean, you know, obviously if I'm actually using tools, I'll get my real tools out. But for kind of in a pinch, the Leatherman Skeletool is gonna be my primary tool. This is gonna be my backup. Maybe it's gonna be my primary when I travel on a plane and take a carry-on where I'm not bringing this. So it's kind of, kind of be a backup tool. These tools don't have long shafts, obviously. So the use cases of them are gonna be limited to where you don't need something with a shaft to actually get to. Uh, practical uses, uh, let's just say you want to adjust the retention on your holster or something real quick. Whoops. You'll get the tool in your hand. This is a little Phillips bit here and you can just kind of use it. So for some applications, you know, they're totally usable while others they might not be. So picking and choosing what you want to keep on the watch is kind of personal preference up to you. Uh, and some kind of specialty, unique features of the tool here, the watch clasp here. So this is the part that actually closes the watch, and this is the part that you're gonna to wanna to pop open when you take the watch off. This has a secondary function as a quarter inch socket drive. So if you have a socket for whatever reason, without the wrench, you can use your bracelet uh, to hold the socket. Is that gonna be a practical use? Probably not, but it's kind of nice that they integrated that in there into the bracelet. So in addition to that, we'll have kind of this specialty one here. This is a cutter on one side. Let me go ahead and show the cutting of it. This is some 750 paracord, so a little beefier than regular paracord. Oh, uh, okay, it gets through it. Not super easy, but it does get through it and Let's also test, this is a seat belt kind of nylon strap. So it took a little bit. I kind of like once I got it in there, kind of cut it pretty easy. So kind of once you get it going, it just kind of cuts right through it. So not super easy. And I'm going to say it's the best cutter in the world, but it'll... It'll work in a pinch probably. And then we have a little, this is kind of like a SIM card or SD card ejection for your phone, a little tiny punch essentially, which I conveniently used to remove the band off of my, the original band off of this watch so that I could put the Chronolinks on and I could attach it to my Leatherman Tread. I'm kind of showing that in the background here how that works. But I've actually used this to remove SIM cards from phones when I've got a new phone. So this tool, maybe a lot of people think it's not practical. I've actually probably used it, honestly, more than every any other tool on this thing. The other side here will have a little glass breaker tip. Again, this would kind of be awkward to use if you ever really had to use it. You could hold it like that and kind of like pop it down into something, I guess. I haven't tested this, so I'm not sure the actual functionality of it. In addition, the inside of the clasp, when this is actually on your wrist, you won't see this tool, so you have to take it off to access it. This is a little bottle opener. I'll show how it works in the background here, but it works, you know. You gotta take it off to use it, but you could kind of be a lifesaver, and then it'd be kind of another thing that's like, oh man, that, if you have to use it, you know, at a hanging out with friends or at a wedding or whatever, and you save the day with your watch band, that's just another cool factor to add on to the entire coolness package of this. So overall, do I think it's practical? Uh, I think so. I mean, if you're gonna have a watch already and you're gonna have a band on that's just wasted space, might as well get one that it looks really, really cool and has all these tools that, you know, while they do have kind of limited functionality, they do still have functionality. So I'm not gonna say this is a worthless tool, but I'm not gonna say it's gonna replace any of your real tools out there. Uh, it is pretty heavy. It's gonna be heavier probably than most of your watch bands out there because this is really, really solid. The other thing uh, is that you can probably see in some of these bigger slots here, we have this, which when I first saw it, I was like, sweet, that's like a bit holder for the Leatherman bit kit. So Leatherman, I've talked about this, they have this little bit kit that interfaces with some of their tools. This does, the little bit does fit in here. 
you'll see. And you kind of could kind of use it in here. It does hold it, uh, but really limited functionality. The unfortunate thing is it doesn't actually hold it in here. So you can put it in and then it'll just drop right out. If you could actually store bits in here, man, that would be a huge win because given what I can hold in my Leatherman, I can hold one bit in here and another bit in here. If I could hold another three or four bits in my bracelet, I'd essentially have like a whole toolbox on my wrist slash in my pocket. So that would be an awesome feature if they did that on a future iteration of this. I don't know how popular this is. I don't know if it'll get like a Gen 2 or anything. I'm guessing not because the price point does kind of put it out of range for a lot of people. This is uh, around $200 or more. So if you have the money to spend on it and you already wear a watch and you want to use it as a watch band, I think it's awesome. I think it's the coolest looking watch band out there. If you just want to use it as a bracelet, if you're into kind of wearing man jewelry or whatever, awesome for that too. For me, before I put a watch on it, it was kind of my travel tool chest. So I would wear the bracelet alone when I traveled. Uh, when I was just taking a carry on and it would kind of be like, oh, I have this peace of mind that I have kind of some tools on me at all times. So whether this is a fit for you, I don't know. It's really whether you have the money to spend on it. If you wear a watch, I think it's much more practical as a watch band because you're already gonna have something taking up this real estate on your wrist. Might as well get something that looks super sweet and is also a little tool chest. So that's pretty much it for this, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, informative, entertaining, any of that stuff, feel free to hit that thumbs up button, get subscribed to the channel. Uh, and again, yeah, it's not really for everyone, and I'm not gonna say it's gonna have the functionality of something like my Skeletool, which I carry every day, but just having an extra thing is, is kind of for guys like me that just love gadgets, love little survival tools. Uh, it's, it's awesome. It's the coolest watch band that's out there. Also, probably the coolest bracelet if you don't put a watch on it that's available on the market today. So, really cool. If you have the money to spend on it and you're looking for a really interesting watch band that may be a, you know, a conversation starter or something, I wore... I'm really dressed up today. This is as dressed up as I ever get. I wore a polo shirt just to kind of, I don't even know why I wore a polo shirt. I think mostly to say like, oh, it's kind of dressy. You could wear it in a dressy environment where something like my other watch might not necessarily kind of fit in. Not that this is dressed up at all for most people. This is like probably really, really, really casual for most people, but for me, it's pretty dressed up. So yeah, it would fit into a more dressed up environment if that's your thing. And yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's a cool tool. Again, the, the usefulness of it, I, I don't know. For me, it's kind of like a backup tool, but you know what they say, two is one, one is none. So this is my two. So this is my one and this is my two when I'm wearing it. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching and take care.